Puppy Culture Workbook for positive reinforcement and training of our puppies so that they are well-rounded when they go to their new home. So I want to go through this book with you so that you have an idea the programs and methods that we use for our puppies. This is a thick book. It um, has, uh, uh, let me see here, here's what's inside. Just gives you an idea of the worksheets and the chapters of this book. Charts and um, an FAQ. And it also comes, this particular puppy culture book, workbook comes with four CDs that we can also watch online. Um, so there are actually 10 chapters. And we start off with neonatal, or the prenatal, excuse me, and planning and bedding and pregnancy and gives you different ideas of what you need to prepare for your puppy to whelp, or excuse me, for your adult to whelp. Um, do's and don'ts. More do's and don'ts. They give recommendations as far as what type of equipment to use, how to prepare for um, anticipate whelping dates, uh, graphs, temperatures, and then we go to neonatal. And that's when they say you get your hospital pads, platform for dam if using, cosmetic sponges for supplementation if needed, scale bumper pads, care of baby wipe, care case of baby wipes, formula, mother's milk puddings, um, and do's and don'ts in consideration for the entire week. Then we go into early neurological, oops, sorry, early, early neurological stimulation. Let me just put that up there. Three to six, give you tips on how to um, get them used to different textures. Um, using pee pads, uh, mother's pudding, preparing some infant formula. Then we go into the transitional period, is from 14 to 21 days. So then you're going more into the um, tactile toys. What This is what you'll need this week. So it tells us what we do here as far as um, Offering lean muscle meat examples, um, what to do when your puppy's eyes are open. Let me just move this over here. This again is in a transitional period. And what to avoid and what and what not to do to stress, not stress your puppy. Um, and it's pretty much a step-by-step -step book. And then we go through the socialization period starting at three and four weeks old. And these are the different things that we uh, socialize our puppies with, including uh, cl playing classical music, um, blow dryer, vacuum, introducing them to unusual things um, that uh, what they advise them not to advise a dog bed, um, never cooked, never feed cooked bones. So you have some do's and definitely do's and don'ts in there. Um, puppy treats, kitty pool, low climbing objects. Yes, never leave puppies unattended outdoors and watch for hawks and other predators. If we have owls here and we have hawks, so we're very careful when young puppies are outside. Um, puppies do need their outside time. Um, good for socialization. Um, and we have the uh, week three, again, dealing with the um, puppy bait tarp over exercise pin, for an example. Um, sharpen, how to sharp, uh, to, to reprimand puppies, what to and not to do. Um, and we have puppy games, puppy scent games. And starting a call for behavior outside and formal training sessions. I'm just, I'm just showing you here what we're doing here, to, how to deal with resource guarding example. Um, it's 
fitting for collars. Uh, structural assets. This is when we e evaluate the puppies to see if they're structurally sound. And that is done at uh, week, I believe, let me just check here, week six. And this is when we can tell really more about the coats, the eye color, um, if they're, they have a good sound structure. Puppy classes, puppy training starts at week seven. They get used to vacuum cleaners. Um, customized sociali socialization experience. In our case, we, we socialize to other dogs, of course. Um, we have um, cats. Uh, we have a lot of fire um, trucks that are around, so we have fire st station down the road. Um, we don't have any chickens, but we do have birds. Um, so that's another thing that helps. And then we have um, additional guidelines for additional training, teaching them how to ride in a, tr in a um, chopping cart or water sports. For, for the dogs that are going to be pulling, you start teaching them how to pull things with a, with a um, specialized harness, crate training, bicycles. And then we have our charts. Oops. Oh, sorry. I'm not going to reshoot this, so sorry about this. Um, we have different charts, our, our perpetual well-being chart. We have a temperature chart. We have a... Um, supplemental emergency feeding chart. So everything with our dogs is charted. We weigh them. Um, we write down different experiences. We do the barrier challenge, which is basically see if they can work, get out of a, uh, a, a sticky situation. Um, and then we have um, treats on grooming tables. So we go through a lot of training with our puppies. And a new um, thing that we're going to be doing procedure, I should say, is that um, all puppies do have the aptitude test, but we are also going to um, be evaluating them for possible um, suitability as service dogs. Now, we do not guarantee service dogs. Oops, that's just failing. <laughs> we do not guarantee service dogs, but what we will do is we will 